Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Bonobo LP, The North Borders. Bonobo is a UK-based electronic music producer who blew up a bit in 2010 thanks to his full-length album Black Sands, which came after a pretty steady stream of full-length albums and EPs which reached back to the early 2000s. And even though Black Sands was sort of the entry point for a lot of people to Bonobo's music, Bonobo's style was pretty well established by that point. Bonobo typically puts out very subtle, chillact, and groove-based electronic music. It's very beat-heavy, sometimes very down-tempo and slightly hip-hop influenced, and the progressions of the tracks that he creates tend to be a little more hypnotic than they are climactic. Now considering in 2010 that other popular electronic music albums were Caribou Swim, as well as Fortet's There Is Love In You, the climate, the musical climate, was definitely ripe for an album like Black Sands. However, I can't really say that Black Sands was resonating all that deeply for me on a personal level. The down-tempo and trip-hop sounds that would pop up on this LP, the micro-house influences as well, just the very minimal, simple, and, and airy, spacious grooves that it was putting forward, and the, 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 the occasionally jazzy undertones of some of these songs. To me, the songs on this LP just felt very pretty, very relaxing, and that's all I can really say about them. And maybe that's all that Bonobo was really trying to go for. However, I can see very clearly that Bonobo is getting a little more ambitious on this new album. Bonobo's music on the North Borders still feels very beat-driven, it's very serene, it's very understated, but the sounds definitely feel a little more vast. The atmosphere is a little bit bigger, and the vocal guests that he brings on to sing on a handful of the songs on this hour-long LP are a little more impressive in terms of performance and, and name-wise, too, because he does manage to nail a feature from the one and only Erica Badu on this album, as well as some lesser knowns who give some very good contributions as well. I have to say, on this album, Bonobo continues to display the beauty that was always there in his music, but it's turned up a little louder on the North Borders, a little, to the point where it can occasionally become awe-inspiring. Like the opening track on this album, which has a vocal contribution from Grey Reverend, who I had not heard of before this track, and man, am I sad about that. That, that. Because his voice sounds beautiful on this song. He sings wonderfully over this very delicate instrumental, which has this sort of rolling snare on the start of it, and the way that it builds up, it feels almost like a post-rock song, until the beat really kind of kicks in with this very low and subtle bass. In a way, this point in the song kind of feels like a drop, but it's not a drop into like, oh, let's rage. It's more like, let's, ah. Uh. The strange synthesizers, the thumb piano, the strings on this track, it's all beautiful. As far as the other vocal features on this LP go, of course, Erica Badu's song is a complete standout. Her very sort of nasally, odd, vibrato voice is very calming and it's seductive on this track and slides into Bonobo's style just perfectly. And this track is wonderfully colored with awesome strings, some harp. It's very much electronic music, but on songs like this, Bonobo breaks that mechanical feel that typically comes with this genre and just lays on layer upon layer upon beautiful layer to the point where you're hearing something that sounds not electronic, but very organic. In my opinion, Bonobo really steps up his production game on this album when it comes to a song that features a guest vocal. Vocalist. Even one of the tracks in the middle of this LP, Towers, which doesn't have the best vocal contribution on the entire LP, still sounds beautiful because the vocal is complemented so well. It's really just cradled lovingly in all of this awesome guitar, these watery synths, and again, more ascending instrumentation, which just makes me feel like I'm floating on a cloud. However, other tracks on here that don't feature vocals, like MK and, and Sapphire, for example, while they're not terrible songs, they just kind of feel like passable, tolerable future garage-inspired productions that I would have in no way been able to guess were bonobos if my life depended on it. Even the song Know You, which has a slightly harder groove to it, is kind of breezy and forgettable as well. I know that Bonobo doesn't want to make hard, aggressive, fast music that just 
hits the listener, but I feel like there's a line separating subtle music and just forgettable music. I think the only instrumental tracks on this LP that I really enjoyed were, for one, Cirrus, which I hope I'm pronouncing correctly. It was the first song that was dropped before the release of this LP. I love the way that Bonobo uses space, the thumb piano, and this really undeniable groove on this track to make a song that is just hypnotic. And the song Don't Wait has a sort of similar quality to it as well with some nicely placed vocal samples chopped and chopped and chopped in. But I just feel like this level of detail doesn't show up everywhere. Clearly from listening to this album, Bonobo has very good taste in vocalists. He has this ability to maybe expose some vocalists that can give great performances that maybe people wouldn't have heard of otherwise. And when he works with some great vocalists, there are some real flares of ambition and beauty on the North Borders. However, many other tracks on here, the instrumental tracks especially, I can't really say they're anything much more than just pleasant. And on top of that, I just feel like there weren't enough to warrant an entire hour of, of music on this album. But here's another opinion. Hey everyone, your number one Calman here, Cal Chichester, here to say is, is sometimes Anthony doesn't know what he's doing. You know, he hears a saying, and it may be a nice saying, but he's like, yen, yen. When Anthony hears sweetness, sometimes he don't get it. So that's all I gotta say, that's it. If you do like your beats, if you do like your electronic music a little quieter, a little more subtle, maybe you dig on producers such as Nujabis as well as Shlomo, a bit of Burial as well, you may totally dig on this LP, but just don't expect Bonobo to be as gloomy or as experimental. I'm feeling a, a decent to strong six on this LP. If you've given it a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Bonobo, the North Borders, forever.